Hello and welcome to our daily learning time. We're going to be talking about the letter W. W looks like this. Now we're going to be hearing a story later about Charlotte's web. W is for web. There's a pig in the story named Wilbur. W is for Wilbur also. And Wilbur is looking for a new friend. He looks down and up and down and up and all around to see if he can find who spoke to him late one night when all the other animals were asleep. So when we write a letter W, let's keep that in mind, okay? We're going to look down and up and down and up, just like Wilbur. We're going to just draw a line down and up, down and up. That's the uppercase letter W. And if you'd like to do some handwriting practice today, I'll show you what that looks like on the handwriting house. And you can get this printable. The link will be below. Okay, so we're going to start at the top. We're going to go down and up and down and up. That's the uppercase letter W. Wilbur looks down and up and down and up and all around for his new friend. Down to the green carpet and up to the ceiling and down and up. That's the uppercase letter W. Okay, now let's look at the lowercase w. It looks exactly the same, except for it's just smaller. Down and up, down and up. Let's see what that looks like on the handwriting house. We're gonna be downstairs since this is a little lowercase letter. So let's start in the middle. We're gonna draw a line to the green carpet and then back up to the middle and down and up again. Down and up and down and up. Try to touch the middle dotted line and the bottom green carpet. I'll draw one more. Down and up, down and up. That's the uppercase and lowercase w's. Okay, let's do some phonics now. Let's talk about what letter w sounds like, okay? w sounds like this. Wuh, wuh. Whoa. In the story, all the other animals are asleep, but Wilbur is awake. So let's play a little game to help us remember that W says wha, 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 as in awake. So let's pretend to go to sleep. And then when you hear the alarm ring, wake up, okay? Before we begin, what does W say? Wha, 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 as in Wake up. Okay, here we go. Go to sleep, everybody. Go to sleep. Good night. <gasps> wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay, let's do it again. Are you ready? We're gonna pretend like we're going to sleep and then we're gonna wake up. Okay, here we go. Go to sleep. Good night. Wake up, wake up, wake up. What does letter W say? W says wo, 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 as in wake up. Let's play it one more time. Okay, let's pretend to go to sleep. Good night. <gasps> wake up, wake up, wake up. What does letter W say? Wo, 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 as in wake up. Well, today when we do our blending, I'm going to do this to remind you that W says w, as in wake up. Before we blend, I need our vowels. Can you tell me what the vowels are? Good. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U, these are the vowels. So let's put a letter W with each of these, okay? Remember what letter W says, W. Here we go, W, A, W, A, W, A. Okay, let's try it with an E, W, E. Let's try W with I. 
w e w e w e Let's try W with O. Ah, uh, here we go. W, ah, uh, wa, wa. Last one. Let's try W with U. Before we do this one, though, I need to tell you something else about the story. There is a rat in the story, and his name is Templeton. And Templeton loves to eat. In fact, he goes to the dump and he gets food from the dump. All the things that people throw away, he eats and eats and eats and eats them. And his tummy gets so big and so full that he says, Oh, he can hardly move. He's so full. That's what letter U says. U says, Oh, let's blend these, okay? Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, good job blending. Blending is just beginning to get ready to read, putting two letter sounds together. Okay, so for math today, we're going to be doing a game called I Spy. Do you know how to play I Spy? Well, I have some things around the farm and because Wilbur the pig lives on a farm. We're going to be doing some eye spying on the farm. So I'm going to call out an animal. You find the animal and then count how many. I spy some chickens. How many chickens do you spy? Good job. Let's count them together. One, two, three. There are three chickens. I'll write three up in the sky. You can write it too on your paper if you'd like to remember what letter three, what number three looks like. Or you can sky write it with your finger. All right, let's do another one, okay? I spy some cows. How many cows do you spy? There they are. I spy two cows. Let's write a number two up in the clouds. There it is. That's what number two looks like. Okay, I spy some dogs. Can you spy the dogs? How many dogs can you see? There's one. Is there one more? Oh, I see him. There he is. Two dogs. One, two. There were two cows and two dogs. They were the same, they were equal. Let's try the next one. I spy some cats. Do you spy the cats? How many can you find? One, two, three. I spy three cats and three looks like that. All right, how about this one? I spy a tractor. Do you spy a tractor? There it is. How many tractors can you see? Just one. Number one looks like that. Okay, now I spy some pigs. Do you spy some pigs and how many? There are the pigs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. There are four pigs and four looks like that. Well, you're really good at I Spy. I'm going to put a link below so you can get that printable for yourself. It's a free download, and there's one that needs to be colored, so that would be a fun idea. And there's some adding and subtracting, too, with that resource. Okay, that's our math for today. Now on to our color. Well, in the story, there's a spider, and the spider's name is Charlotte. And Charlotte is a black spider. And so I thought today for our color, we would use the color black. And in the song, it says, um, flying bats are black, but we're going to change that. Can we say, Charlotte's spider is black? Let's change it up a little bit. B-L-A-C-K spells black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. Charlotte Spider is black. Charlotte Spider is black. Charlotte Spider is black. I like black. Okay, now I have an art project for us today. Tell me, do you know what do spiders spin? Spiders spin webs and W is for web. So we're going to make a web today using a paper plate. 
So we're just going to poke a hole in the middle, get a grown up to help you on this pokey part. And then we're gonna cut the inside out all the way around. Okay, it should look like this when you get the inside cut out. If you don't have a paper plate, you could use a piece of cardboard or you could use a cereal box that you cut apart, just anything that's a little bit hard. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna poke holes all the way around. I'm using a hole punch, but if you didn't have a hole punch, I bet a sharp pencil would work. Get a grown up to help you punch the holes. We're going all the way around. Just like that. Okay, next we're gonna take some yarn. I'm using white yarn because a spider's web is white, but you could use any color you wanted to. I'm gonna take this string and I'm going to put it into one of the holes and then I'm gonna tie it. That keeps it from falling out. There we go. And now I'm just going to use the string to go in and out of the little holes. It's almost like sewing. You can go any into any hole you want, just back and forth. This is a great fine motor activity. That just means it gives you practice using your tiny muscles in your fingers. So I have one I've already finished. It looks like this when you're all done. It looks like a spider's web. That's pretty cool. That's our art project for today. Well, for science today, we're going to learn all about spiders. Raise your hand if you think a spider is a bug. Guess what? We might be surprised to find out if a spider is a bug or not. We're going to look at this PowerPoint. It's called All About Spiders. I'll put the link below to get a copy of this for yourself. But this is called All About Spiders. It was written by Susan Jenkins, uh, Jennings. Spiders belong to a group of animals called arachnids. Spiders are not insects. Spiders have eight legs. Insects have six legs. Also, insects have three body parts and spiders only have two. So a spider is not a bug. It's not an insect. It's an arachnid. Let's look at those two body parts that a spider has. The front part where the head and chest of a spider is, is called a cephalothorax. The back part where the tummy and the spinnerets, that's the part in the very back that the spider uses to make its web, that's called the abdomen. A spider doesn't have bones inside its body. Instead, it has an exoskeleton. The hard part of a spider is on the outside like a hard shell. The exoskeleton protects the spider. Spiders have eight legs and each leg is divided into several segments. Spiders even have knees. They can bend their legs like we can do because of our knees. Spiders have special tiny claws on the ends of their legs. These claws help them walk on their sticky webs. Spiders have lots of eyes. Many spiders have eight eyes, but some have more or fewer. Some kinds of spiders can see clearly, but most spiders do not see well at all, even with all those eyes. Spiders don't have ears and they don't have noses. Do you see a nose on that spider? Nope, no nose. They hear and smell using tiny hairs on their legs. Spiders also use leg hairs for tasting, but they use their mouths for eating. Spiders build webs out of silk that they make in their bodies. They use their webs to catch their prey. Prey is just an animal that is hunted or killed by another animal for food. Most spiders catch and eat insects. Some of the parts of a spider's web are sticky. Spiders walk carefully on the parts, on the parts that aren't sticky. Insects get caught in the sticky parts. The type of web that looks like it's a circle going around and around and around is called an orb web. The other web that you can see here in the picture, the one that kind of looks like there's a hole going to the bottom, that is called a funnel web. And if you look really closely, you can see a spider down inside that funnel web. Spiders also use their silk 
for traveling from place to place. They make long strands and swing to get across a large area. The wind helps spiders to move. Many spiders catch their prey in a web. After an insect gets trapped in the sticky web, the spider wraps it in its silk and injects it. Not all spiders use a web to catch their prey though. Tarantulas and this jumping spider can chase or even jump on their prey. And these kinds of spiders have good eyesight. When a female spider lays eggs, she wraps them up safely in an egg sac made of silk. An egg sac can hold hundreds of spider eggs. Baby spiders are called spiderlings. They are very tiny. As spiders grow, their exoskeletons become too tight and small. Spiders molt several times before they are fully grown. When they molt, they grow a new exoskeleton and shed their old one. Many people are afraid of spiders. Some spiders can be harmful to people, but most are not. Spiders eat insects, which are often pests to people, like mosquitoes. Black widows are poison to animals, but this tarantula isn't. Look at the boy holding the tarantula as a pet. Spiders can live almost anywhere in the world. There are different kinds of spiders in all sizes and colors. Look at this picture. This says the end, but look at all those spider webs. That's amazing. God designed a very interesting creature when he designed the spiders. He made them able to spin those fantastic looking webs without even being taught. That is amazing. What a creative creator we have. Well, I want to read a story to you for story time. And this is a picture book version of the story of Charlotte's Web. Some people say a barn is empty without a pig in it. But Erebel's barn was quite full. They had just gotten a very special pig. His name was Wilbur. Wilbur was a sweet little pig. He was born on a clear spring day. He was the runt of the litter. That means Wilbur was smaller than his brothers and sisters. Fern Erebel had saved Wilbur. Fern's father had said he was too small to survive, but Fern knew better. She took a baby bottle and fed Wilbur until he got bigger. Fern's father didn't want to take care of pigs. He'd already sold Wilbur's brothers and sisters. Wilbur had to go and live on her uncle's farm, on Fern's uncle's farm, but Fern could still visit. Wilbur was lonely in this new place without his friend. Wilbur decided it was time to make a new friend in the barn, but who? There was Ike the horse, and there were the geese. Their names were Gussie and Golly, but they were always fussing at each other. Then there was Betsy and Bitsy, the two cows who loved to gossip, and Samuel the sheep, who was always followed by all the other sheep on the farm. And then there was Templeton the rat, but all he cared about was food. In a barn full of animals, Wilbur still felt alone until something special happened. It was nighttime and Wilbur was too lonely to sleep. Good night, he called to the other animals, but there was just silence. They were all fast asleep. Good night, he said again sadly. Then a voice answered from the darkness. Good night. Wilbur pricked up his ears. Who said that, he asked. Me said a voice. Wilbur looked around, but all the other animals were still fast asleep. Wilbur wanted to keep on talking and find out who his new friend was, but the voice said it was time to sleep and they could talk the next day. The next morning, Wilbur was eager to find his new friend. Wilbur called out, will the person who spoke to me last night please come forward? I will come down, the voice said. Then suddenly Wilbur saw her, a great big spider. The other animals in the barn moved away at the sight of her. They had always thought she was just an ugly spider and they never wanted to be her friend. Salutations, the spider said to Wilbur. I am Charlotte. Sal you, Wilbur mumbled. He did not understand such a big word. It means hello, Charlotte said kindly. 
Oh, hello, Wilbur said with a big smile. And with those few words, a friendship began. Where the other animals saw just a spider, Wilbur saw kindness and beauty. He was happy to have a new friend. But Charlotte and Wilbur were the best of friends. Charlotte worked hard spinning her webs to show everyone how special Wilbur was. And Charlotte knew that Wilbur's kind heart truly made him some pig. Look what Charlotte did. She put letters in her web. She spun them with her silk and it says some pig. She wanted everybody to know that Wilbur was special. Well, do you know that you are special? The Bible says that God made you special. His masterpiece, kind of like Charlotte's masterpiece when she spun her web with all those letters. Well, I hope you know how important you are to God. And I will see you next time for our daily learning time. Goodbye.